We're gonna be fishing in Tofino on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Tofino is located on a peninsula within Clackwat Sound, which is an absolutely magnificent part of the world. And I've spent a lot of time out on the waters here in Tofino and, and feel pretty comfortable being out in, in different areas. And I know right now that fishing has been outstanding. Fishing with me this week is Andy White from Mercury Marine, and I'm super excited to have Andy out here in Tofino. Fishing in Tofino has been absolutely magnificent, probably the best in the past 15 years that I've seen on the West Coast. And we can't wait to get out there and get our lines in the water. Hey, I know you're putting your gear together right now, but Mike and I have a, a gift for you. You gotta open her up here, check her out. Whoa! That's what I was gonna, we were gonna send you in the mail, but I figured since we can do the show. Cool, bro. Just, yeah, check her out. We got another one to add to your collection. It might be a little different than the other ones, so. That's okay. You know, Islander Reel is always a, uh, a special treat. It's like a trophy, right? Exactly, okay. Made in Canada, best part right there, boys. Exactly, Vancouver Island. Whoa, sweet! Even my name engraved yeah. on it. Whoa! Thanks, yeah, bro. Buddy. It's a limited edition. It is. Hey, it's the only one they got in the world. That's right. The only one. One of one. Wow. <laughs> Sweet, boys. Yeah, Thanks, buddy. man. Hey, no problem. That's awesome. I, I didn't yeah, have a chance to get anyway. lined. <laughs> What's that? So we didn't get it lined for you, though, so we can't okay. use we'll it. That's okay. We'll put that on the mantle, and we'll uh, get her lined up over at my uh, friend Darren and Ward's place, Island Outfitters. Very cool. Made in Canada. Jack Foster and his team down at Islander Reels there. Great guys. Thank you. One of the unique things about fishing at Tofino is the diversity of areas you can fish. You can head inside and fish in protected waters, and you can also head offshore to fish. And there is a multitude of areas that you can target. And the fishery I've experienced here this past summer has been maybe the best I've seen in the past 15 years, which is interesting because maybe contradicts a little bit the, uh, the rules and regulations that were put in place back in April. You know, I know our fishery is, is in a time of reassessment right now and a little bit of uncertainty and there's a lot of different factors that are kind of contributing to fish stock numbers up and down the coast. But from my personal experience this summer, it's been absolutely amazing the amount of fish out here on the west coast. And I want to go out and, you know, show people that Tofino is, is still a world-class fishery and there are a lot of fish out here. And if this fishery is managed properly moving forward, we hope we can pass this on from generation to generation. And there's been some changes with, with regs as far as retention, and that's fine. I mean, you can still get out on the water, have a fantastic day with friends or family or, or whoever it is that you want to spend time with and experience everything that fishing has to offer. Just being on the water gives you a totally different perspective on things, and it truly is a special place to be. Well, I'm thinking we'll run bait on one side for sure, and then we'll run uh, this uh, skinny G on the other side, this this herring aid. It's been pretty... Uh, pretty active? Pretty successful. Yeah, it's kind of nice. a cool, cool looking... What color did you run in there? Called the herring aid. Ooh, cool. So, so for the older guys, the herring aid? The herring aid. Nice. <laughs> the herring aid. This is a fun, fun spot to fish. It's uh, kind of in tight to the rocks and... Yeah. Shallow, shallow. We got a few friends up there too. A couple guys up yep. there. It's a busy morning. I, that I know. Fishing in there. Nice big uh, patch of bait here. We're actually fishing. This is uh, Blunden Island here. Kind of off the north northwest corner. A few other boats ahead of us here, and and uh, just some fish around. Let's get Andy in the game. Yep, I'm up. Let's see what we can do He's here. On deck. We're on deck. Put me in, coach. Why didn't you grab it? Why? Well, gotta make sure you get the fish. I don't want to mess it up the first time. I think fish, I just right? lost him. I just lost him, Andy. No. Yeah, he's gone, dude. Oh no. No, no, you got oh, him. He's, he's on. He he's just on. came right at us. <laughs> Jesus. I thought you'd grab that thing, man. I looked at my rod, I was like, what? <laughs> well, we didn't say whose rod's whose, right? I mean, we're not gonna. That's on the skinny G. We might Isn't that need. Isn't the That's the. That is the herring aid right there, yep, boys. the old guys. And you want to Older. slow us down just a little bit? Yeah, roger that. That's a little spring. Beauty. That's a good start, eh? Great start. Did I, mean, I wake he, you up he, good enough? Oh my God, my heart's <laughs> racing, buddy. Like a racing. <laughs> That's cool, I can just see him there just. Yeah. 
great start of the day. That's a little spring. He's probably like 10 pound spring. Oh, awesome start. Yeah. He'll spit her pretty quick here. Well, I mean, this, this is probably like a 10 pound Chinook here. We, we, we might keep him out. Well, we might release him though. We'll see here. Yeah. We'll have a look at him here beside the boat. Want to go through the side door? Oh, we'll just net him at the side. Yeah. Look at, there he is. Guys, I think that's a good dinner fish right there. Hey, they use 10 pounds. Yeah. It's a perfect barbecue fish. He just likes swimming in that wash there, in that prop wash. I'll let you come back here, Andy. I just want to get him up here. Oh, 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 oh God. No, you don't. You do that. Fish on. Fish in. Yeah, he's like an eight pounder. I think that's a nice fish to keep. Beautiful fish to keep, and we'll take that guy for dinner. Nice hatchery fish here. You know, he's maybe 10 pounds. Perfect fish for the barbecue here. Hammered that uh, herring aid there, the skinny G. Yes, sir. You're awesome. So that took about 10 minutes here, boys. So let's get him back in, and uh, thank you, fish, for cooperating. Thank you, fun. fish. When I'm deciding whether to release or retain a fish, there's a couple factors that come into play immediately. One is when we get that fish to the boat is the health of the fish. How is that fish hooked? Is it hooked, you know, in the side of the lip? Has it swallowed the hooks? Is it bleeding? If it's bleeding, then there's a very, very strong chance that fish won't survive. So that would be a fish I would look at retaining. Second thing would be size of the fish. If you bring that fish to the boat and it's a big, healthy fish, in my mind, that fish has to go back into the water. These are the big, strong brood stock that have the best chance of surviving, getting back to their natal rivers and passing on their genetics to the next generation. And thirdly, I look for a clip fish, a hatchery fish that has no adipose fin. And if uh, a fish does not have an adipose fin, then that's, that's a fish that I'll, I will consider retaining. Pop, go, Randy, ready. go, go, go. Go, go, go. We got a fish on? Oh, yeah. Fish on. Atta boy. There you go, hey, that's a nice one, eh? Yeah. That's what we were looking for. He's hey? coming at me. Ne oh, you got him. That's a nice fish, Andy. That's Let a him great run. fish. Let him run there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my rod up, I think, bud. Hey? Don't you spit that. Come on, come on, stay on him. Stay on him. Are we still on? Yeah. The skinny G. Yeah, skinny G produces again. Now, I'll tell you right now, this is a fish. Yeah. Like, I'm not joking. Yeah. That's a nice fish. You're good, eh? You're good. I okay. hope we got him hooked. Well. Yeah, you got him. Because he's coming right at us. Yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish, dude. Nice fish, mid-teens, I think maybe 20, hey? I'd say 20 at least. Yeah. It's been pulling like that. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's tired, too. Yeah. All ready, I'm going to put us in neutral. Yeah. And you'll get gain on him. That's a beautiful sight. Look at that thing, eh? If he wants to go, let him go. That's a beautiful fish, Andy. Turn his head. In the bag, bud. In the bag. That's a beautiful fish. That is a beauty. <laughs> Thanks, nice, brother. Nice fight. Nice. Dude, that's skinny G too, hey? That's skinny G. That's four for four on the skinny G. Yeah. Oh, just a beautiful fish. We'll get yep. him here. Let's hope we can get him, yep. keep him going here. here. Healthy Chinook here. Big male. Dark snout. Look at how thick his tail. I can't even get my my arm and thumb around his tail. He's a 20-pound fish. He's in good shape here. We're gonna send him back. Look at the beautiful spots on him there. I call that the Sid K special. Sid K special release here. Yeah. Well, man, it feels good to watch him swim away. He's ready. We're gonna watch him go. There he goes. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at that big fish. <laughs> Oh, that's the best dude. ever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fish handshake right there. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Go back here. Look at that fish handshake. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nice fish. That was an awesome yeah. fight. Hey. Yeah. Wow. And you know what? That one's for Sid K. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Sid. <laughs> dude, wow. That was a sick release. That, that was, was awesome. The water's so clear. That's a nice, healthy fish. Did you see him just swim away? Like he uh, was like a torpedo. Beautiful. He was. He was thick all the way. From his tail down, yep. his shoulders thick, chunky fish. Wow. Healthy fish, man. Dude, that's probably my uh, the best fish I've had in five years, I'd say. For awesome. real. Awesome. End of day one here with Andy White from Mercury Marine, and we had a phenomenal day on the water. I mean, we, we caught a lot of big, healthy fish today, and, and one of the most rewarding things that, that I feel 
as an angler is when you do battle with a fish and that fish comes to hand and you have the ability to release that fish healthy, strong, back into the water. I mean, just thinking about it gives me goosebumps. I mean, it's, it's the ultimate feeling and, and I really encourage sport fishing anglers to consider releasing more fish out on the water. You know, one, because it's great for the overall population, but two, it just makes you feel so good. If you haven't done it or you haven't done it all that much, I encourage you again to do it more often and it's, it's very, very rewarding. Day two, heading out on the water here with Andy White from Mercury Marine. The ride out to the fishing grounds in the morning is always a special treat, especially on our Kingfisher boat, which has so much room. The Mercury engines, I mean, just a phenomenal setup. They have performed absolutely outstanding. We've put a lot of hours on these engines, these 200, you know, brand new V6s. They get you out of the hole so quick, up on plane fast. These engines are designed with a lighter weight, so better fuel efficiency and all these things add up to making a very memorable day on the water. Okay, I got Brecky uh, on deck there ready for you, Brendan, whenever you're ready, once you catch a fish. Well, she's nice, it'd be nice and calm and flat to eat. Yeah, we got bacon, and eggs, cooked. we got some fresh bread from the Summit Bakery in Tofino. We're gonna do it right, got the uh, frying pan ready. A little back bacon. Dang. Let's catch a fish first. And I'll make you a bacon and egg. Here we go. <laughs> we, we saw go. the bait ball. Not really doing much yet, eh? Little guy. Is it? All right. Fish is a fish. Coming in hot here. Skinny G produces again. Just a little fella. Went on an eight, nine pounder. Just gonna pop him right off here. Just gotta go. Skinny G produces again. Nice there work, she Mo. Goes. Nice work. Good job, buddy. Good One start. In. Good start. The old 44, hey? The old 44. Bertuzzi paid off again. <laughs> what a line mate. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. What do you got going on in there, Andy? Whoa, look at this. Look well, at we're this gonna, guy. We're, yeah, we're gonna make a little little special treat for you there. So I brought the pound of bacon. Oh. We got our utensils. We got a frying pan. This is a staple West Coast breakfast. Chef on the water. Chef on the water, yep. We're gonna have ourselves Dang. some bacon and eggers, Mo. Oh, that's gonna be good. Bacon and eggers, buddy. Is there a better breakfast spot than this? I don't know. Negative. Look at look at the uh, look at the ambiance, Andy. Look at it. Would you just look this at is, it? This is oceanfront. This is oceanfront eatery. When you're fishing in shallower water, a lot of times you're targeting kelp beds or rocky areas where these fish feel very comfortable because it's it's basically a hiding area for these fish, where they'll stay in kelp beds, they'll hide in rocky areas, they'll wait for bait fish to swim by, and they're opportunists where they'll come out and feed, and then they'll go back in and hide. But this is their protection. So if you can target these areas and work these patches of, of rocks or patches of kelp, and you put your time in there, there's a very good chance it's gonna pay off with catching a fish. Fish on while cooking, never fails. That's the sound we like to hear. Yeah. Ooh, you can slow us down maybe just a touch, Andy. That's a pretty big run by this fish. Yeah. Holy cow. Found some line there. Just head shaking, eh? There oh, he goes. Look at him. Oh, he's just porpoising back there. Oh, I just lost him. Nope, he's on there. No, no, he's on, man. Yeah, I know, he just came back towards me. At least you got your sandwich in you before I, this thing happened. I'm, I haven't eaten mine yet. Holy, look at this guy go. Oh, holy oh, cow. Can you slow us down? Well, you know. I'm fueled up. You're double, all fueled up. Double egg, bacon, cheddar, sandwich, oh yeah. I think I got a little bit of kelp on my, on the flasher, that's why it looks funny. But man, he took a couple unbelievable runs. We're gonna look at this guy now. Oh, he's a teenager there. Nice fish. Oh, gorgeous nice fish. fish, look at that, that's a beauty. Nice fish. Maybe the easiest thing to do, Andy, maybe, is let's just move this downrigger up, then we can net him right here. Roger that. 
Man, that skinny G again, hey? Boy, that thing's been producing. Head first. Got him. Maybe just put him on the back grate right now. He might be a keeper. That's a nice fish, Brennan. Yeah, it's a nice, it was a good fight. Great fight. That was fun. Just bent that. Bent that on the bite there, and you can see his teeth marks in there. This thing's been, been money for us. That's a nice fish. Good teen. Woo! Nice work, Brennan. Uh, we kept this fish here. Beautiful fight. He's probably 16, 17 pounds, so perfect, perfect eating size. But a lot of fun. Great fight, man. Absolutely. He hammered it and had a couple really nice runs. So nice work, bro. That was fun. We're back at her. Nothing like a Chinook over an Andy White. Double breakfast egg sandwich. breakfast sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, maybe that would have it on there. <laughs> hey, we'll take anything. I'm going to eat mine now. How's that sound? Perfect. You have a hard turn, Andy? Yeah, give her. Some oh, she's on. You got fish or kelp? Oh, no, it's a fish. Is it? Right in there. That's what we want to see. Oh, dude. That's what we want to see. That's oh, what. Oh, dude, this is a big fish. That's what we were looking for. And you're right when we are talking about possibly moving, hey? Yeah, and here he comes across the top of the water. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. He's coming right at us here. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He took a big run initially there. Boy, eh? did he ever. He took off. Okay, flashers. Uh-oh. Yeah, -oh. no, you're good. You're good. He's coming, he's coming at right us. at us. Oh, he's swimming right. Come on now. He's coming right at us, Brennan. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, keep her going a little faster. A little it's amazing faster. when they pick up their speed. Oh yeah, eh? here he comes. Like he's coming right at us. <laughs> Come on. I'm not kidding you. I just wheel in everything. <laughs> he's like right here. He's gonna take off again, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. He's not there. Done he goes. Yet. If you need to come over here, come over here. It's all cleared. Oh, I see him. Hey, nice snook. Oh yeah, nice fish. Oh yeah, buddy. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Beautiful fish. I'm gonna put us in neutral here. Okay. Got it. Yep. We're in neutral. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Let me get Look at the inside. snout on this guy. Down that way. He's in. Yeah. Nice fish. He's... Woo! What do we got? Yeah, he's about 15, bud. About Boy, 15. She, he pulled well. He pulled well. Beautiful. Fish. I was calling 20. I know. Well, yeah. the runs he took right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. That was awesome. So grab like a really firm grip on his tail. Okay. He's a long fish, eh? Yeah. Really firm grip on his tail. And then this other hand under his belly. Now get out of your way. And pretty colors on him. Hey, Mike. Look at that guy. Great fight. Oh, yeah. Kick, buddy. There he goes. He's swimming. <laughs> nice, bud. That's awesome. Nice job. That felt good. Wow. I'll tell you, that's the first time I've ever held the fish and released it. And uh, like everyone says, there's something about the, the feeling of him regaining his strength and I guess breathing again, really, is what it comes down to. You feel that. He just comes alive, eh? Yes. Like he just starts twitching in your hand. The muscles. And then when you release and he just kicks like that, it's kind of gives you uh, goosebumps, eh? It does, and I'm, I've got them right now, look. <laughs> that's awesome, man. You know, as far as catching a fish, like that is probably the best, that's the best moment I've ever had fishing. <laughs> awesome. That was very well, cool. Well, let's do it again. <laughs> to see him swimming around. Yeah, I'm in, man, let's go. We had another incredible trip here in Tofino. I'm always so proud and, and happy to share Tofino and having Andy White on our boat from Mercury Marine experience what I like to do on a daily basis out here in Tofino was fantastic and by far the highlight for me was watching Andy tail and release his very first Chinook salmon and watch that fish swim away. You couldn't get the glow off his face and to me that's what it's all about is, is creating memories like that. It's the end of the day on the water and to me the ultimate way to cap off a, a day here in Tofino is, is heading to the beach and having a bonfire. I mean, this is something that I've, I've been doing with my family for years, and even as a child, those are some of my first memories of Tofino, being on the beach and having a bonfire at night, 
and just being around good company and kind of reminiscing about the day and, and taking in all that Tofino has to offer. And it's the ultimate, ultimate West Coast living. It's my therapy, it's my recharge. And sometimes I just sit here and think how lucky and fortunate I am to be able to experience the West Coast that I love so much.